for the latest type of RIRS uh, that people generally perform these days, uh, they tend to have a, a suction uh, into the system that allows them to remove uh, dust as well as fragments uh, uh, and that happens through an uh, access sheet, what is called as suction access sheet, uh, what I present to you here. The main feature of this access sheet is at this end, uh, we have a Y junction uh, where the standard scope will go through the main channel whereas your uh, suction will be attached to this side port. We'll come to that uh, in a while. Uh, on the other end, uh, at first instance, it looks all same, but once we remove the dilator portion of the access sheet, we could see that the front 10 centimeter of, so of the access sheet is really flexible. And that uh, is to do with the ability to navigate into multiple calyx uh, being provided with this access sheet. Uh, so the scope would help us in deflecting the uh, tip portion into favorable uh, calyx and do the required suction from those calyx uh, as required in the surgery. Also, when we have this product uh, inserted into the patient, uh, the suction would happen through this uh, port. Uh, this would be connected to this tubing uh, provided uh, and this in turn would be connected to the canister. Canister has two ports. Uh, this is the inlet port which with a valve on it. So this is and the output port where it would be connected to a hospital suction machine. It also comes with this uh, attachment where it could be used to either to the side of the hospital bed or somewhere securely so that they can be placed without hindrance. Uh, if we look inside the canister, it has got a mesh uh, to help us keep the fragments on one end and just the uh, liquid portion will go onto the other end which would be connect collected onto a bigger system. So this is a secure uh, canister, collection canister that would be connected on this port. Once connected, uh, this lever, when it is upwards, the canister is in a closed condition. Whereas if we move it down, uh, that is when the suction effectiveness would be observed. Uh, on the other end, when we are operating, this sliding mechanism is also useful for the suction activation. When it is completely closing the outlet, the suction would be active and when we are sliding it away, uh, the suction would be ineffective. So during surgeries as and when required, uh, we could slide it in position uh, for the activation of suction and uh, inactivation at the doctor's end effectively.